Pilsen is right off the Pink Line, a Hispanic neighborhood on Chicago's west side. It's known for its artistic community and is easy to see why. Murals and street art are everywhere, in the L stop, on churches, in homes. In the center of Pilsen lies its creative core, the National Mexican Museum of Art. The museum features multiple exhibits, each with different artistic themes. One exhibit features artwork inspired by the book, The House on Mango Street. There's one on Mexican holidays, one on religion, and many more. Though diverse in topic, all artwork featured is about Mexican life by Mexican artists. Local resident Debbie Patino likes how the museum takes her back to her roots. But yeah, I mean, Mexican culture is my culture. I grew up with this. So coming to this museum, it's like, it's like going home. <laughs> Debbie plans on interning at the museum this summer as a way to immerse herself in Mexican culture. I like how fluid it is. Um, it's not this like static idea of what is Mexican art, right? It's like continuously changing. And so something that I've noticed they've been doing lately is like, um, kind of trying to blur that line between Mexicans from Mexico and Mexicans here because this is an identity that like transcends borders, right? It's not just in one specific location, it's, it's a culture. It's Kim Chayab's first time to the museum and she's glad she found it. Um, in terms of the actual layout, I was really impressed. Um, I didn't realize that there was like this little gem in the heart of Pilsen here. Like bridging like my culture with like the, the neighborhood is like really interesting and nice. Fernando Valtierra has worked for the museum for two years and knows how important it is for the Pilsen community. It's just bringing everyone together since it's free and it's been free. It's a great museum. If you have the chance, come, come by and visit.